work is almost out and you've had a very long day and the last thing you feel like doing is going to work out. You get this kind of last minute resistance to going to exercise and you start thinking of all the things that you could do besides going to work out. You know, you start thinking, oh, I could go out with a friend or maybe I could go home and get caught up with my kids or maybe I could get further along with taking care of something in the household. Something comes up for everyone when they're a beginner, they get this last minute resistance to going to take care of themselves and working out for just an hour, maybe an hour and a half if that. It could even be half an hour just taking care of themselves. So today, we're gonna talk about last minute resistance. What is up people, Jean Carlos here with the Total Body Training Podcast where I help people get lean, gain muscle, and build some damn confidence and we're talking about that last minute resistance that we all have to taking care of ourselves. This is gonna be a short one, this is just a message for you to get up off your ass when you feel like giving up or not showing up. Last minute resistance, the feeling that you shouldn't go to the gym, that there are better things to do or that you shouldn't take care of yourself or that you really need a day off or all these things are really common for everyone. I would say that they're more common for people when they're a beginner and they haven't made working out or eating healthy or taking care of their bodies a priority. When you, especially, especially if you spend a lifetime doing the opposite. So, you know, this is, I'm speaking to my demographic here. People in their, you know, mid to late 20s up until their 40s, you know, y'all are busy. <laughs> and if you got into your 30s or 40s without really taking care of your health, without really working out, this whole fitness thing and the whole going out of your way to go work out is foreign to you. And that's understandable, it was for me too. You've got so many other things that you like to do and ways that you like to spend your time that the moment that you start having to work out, there it becomes issues with your time, there becomes issues with your ability to do other things that don't involve exercise or don't involve work, things like that, or at least in your head, these, these, these ideas start to come up. You start to feel like there's no way that you could ever get in the gym for that hour. There's no way because you've gotta do X, Y, and Z. You've gotta get home and take care of laundry. You gotta get home maybe and take care of kids. You've got to get home to sit down and watch something and relax because you've had such a stressful and long day. Making the adjustment to including one hour of working out into your life is difficult at first, and I would say that for most people, you're going to feel a lot of resistance towards the idea of blocking out time for yourself to do that. In fact, you will feel like that probably up until you're done with that workout when you're a beginner. Yep, that's right. So I can't tell you how many people come in here and they tell me I was sitting in the parking lot and I was thinking about leaving and then I just walked in and I started working out and I felt better when I was done. Or I was at home and I got up early and I was pouring myself a cup of coffee and I was just trying to weasel my way mentally out of doing this. I started trying to think of all the things that I needed to do. All this last minute resistance towards me coming in and taking care of my health is something that I battled with but then I came in and I felt better anyways. Even myself, me recently, I am a trainer, I'm a very busy person, I create a lot of content, I own a studio, I do creative work, I do all this stuff, y'all, and working out, you know, is a priority, I enjoy it, however, sometimes, even at my advanced stage in training, sometimes I just feel like doing something else, you know, like, I don't, I don't, I want to maybe go take photos, right? I'm really enjoying that or, or something like that. Really, the, the place that this cropped up for me recently was in doing yoga. I find that I feel better and my body is more limber when I do yoga. Now, I already strength train five days a week, so finding a way to, actually six days a week, and in addition to that, I practice arm balances. So finding the time to also include maybe a half hour to an hour of a yoga practice is difficult for me. <laughs> Not because I don't want to, but because I have a lot going on. And here's the reality of the situation. Even though I love yoga and enjoy every time that I go, every, almost every time that I go, I feel some sense of last minute resistance because a million and one things pop up in my head that make me feel like I shouldn't go. You know, oh, I really need to get started on uploading papers for Heron, or oh, I really need to get this stuff out to Pamela. The reality of the situation is, is that I need to be more time efficient. And so if you're feeling like 
me and you're the kind of person who is, you know, ha does have a lot of stuff going on, like it's legitimate that getting in to work out is difficult for you, legitimately difficult for you, my suggestion for you is that you try to manage your time better. There might be somewhere where you're wasting time. For me, where I tend to get lost and waste time is on my phone. I post a lot of photos and I do a lot of creative work and sometimes in the process of doing that I can get lost just scrolling, scrolling through people's feeds, liking stuff. That's my weakness, man, especially since I've started posting as many photos as I do and as many videos as I do, I found myself getting lost entertaining myself and that has slowed down my personal progress. So. You know, not to get too far off track, but maybe your last minute resistance is legitimate, is what I'm saying. And maybe you legitimately do have some time issues. What I would urge you to do is to make sure that you aren't creating those time issues, to make sure that it's not that you're sitting at the couch an extra 30 minutes before going into the gym and then feeling rushed when you go into the gym. That instead, when you get off work, you go straight from work to the gym with your clothing, with whatever snacks that you need to eat in between on the road to the gym, I promise you, if you avoid that last minute resistance, if you take away the friction of time and wasting your time, you will feel better during your workouts. You'll feel less of a resistance to getting in the gym if you just go through it, you just go for it, if you don't think about it as much. I promise you, you'll feel better. Now, I want you to know, beginners, let's get back to y'all, that it is tough to put your health as a priority and as a result, you are going to feel that last minute resistance to working out you're going to feel, especially if you don't like it. So when you're a beginner, a lot of times, you really don't want to work out. I mean, I want to be in the gym and I want to take care of myself because of where I've been at in my life and how long I've been doing it, but you you just rather maybe play Fortnite at home or hang out with your kids or do something else. Just remember that this is only one hour. I mean, you can come to a class. I know that coming here, if you live close to me, it'd take you maybe like 15 minutes to get here. We have an hour long class, 15 minutes to get home. You can shower, get dressed, 20 minutes. So all in all, the whole process maybe can take you an hour and a half to two hours, right? Or you could go do a workout at home or do something at a local gym that's closer to you for 30 minutes, right? You don't have to do a full hour. Whatever the case might be, the idea of last minute resistance is usually rooted in you thinking that you don't have the time or you just not wanting to do it. And if it's a time thing, then I want you to reevaluate why it's a time thing. And if it's a you don't feel like doing it thing, reevaluate what it is and why it is that you want to work out. So maybe you need to, you know, your your your. your your doctor told you that you're pre-diabetic, so you need to start exercising and eating better. Those were the exact recommendations the doctor made. The doctor suggested that you work out three to five times a week and that you clean up your diet. That's the reason why you need to let go of that last minute resistance. The moment you start feeling that, just be like, oh, I don't feel like going to the gym and blah, 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 blah. Be like, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 hold on, I'm pre-diabetic. And this could affect my whole life. This could affect my health. This could affect how I feel, right? Or maybe if you're having cholesterol issues, right? If you're like my dad, my dad, we and my family have, uh, we're not people that are necessarily overweight, but we naturally are predisposed to being, uh, having cholesterol issues. My dad, if you looked at him, you'd never know that he has issues with his cholesterol and he has high blood pressure. However, the moment that he found out that, the doctor was like, listen, you need to get to working out, clean up your diet and working out three to five days a week, he started doing that. You can do that too. The moment that you start feeling that resistance, maybe you're at the office and you're talking to Maria and y'all, and Maria is going out for margaritas, Maria margaritas. <laughs> And she's like, come on, it's Friday, let's go. And you're sitting there like, oh, I really wanna go, Maria, to go have margaritas with you. You start getting this last minute resistance to working out. No, stop and be like, I'll go get margaritas with you. <laughs> After I work out for one hour, shower up, I'll meet up with you later on. That's all you have to do. That last minute resistance thing is usually BS, right? Don't get caught up in like things that float by, ideas that float by, um, distractions that pull you away from doing your workouts and always return to the reason why you need to work out. That'll help you through the process of getting rid of that last minute resistance. Now, 
Uh, I want to tell you that over time it will get easier. Like I said, for me, I have less of those experiences where I have last minute resistance because it's now become a habit. So beginners, the last minute resistance factor will go away or diminish hopefully while you're continuing your progress and continuing to work out. All right, people, thank you so much today. I think that's it for today, for tuning in to the Total Body Training Podcast. Real quick, I just wanted to mention something to y'all. If you are interested in working out with me here at Total Body Training, I posted a link in the description section to this podcast and this video where you can come try one free class. Please, 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 if you need someone to motivate you and get you in better health, click on the link and follow me. If you're online and you're not here in San Antonio, Texas and you can't work out with us, we are going to be doing a live stream workout series. It's going to be about half an hour. It is going to be for beginners. If you're an advanced student, this is not for you. Uh, that is going to start, I believe, this Wednesday. More information to come soon. And uh, I'm just excited to be sharing that with y'all. All right, people. Thank you so much for tuning into the podcast today. Until next time. Peace.